Hello and welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics uh, Advanced Knowledge Problem of the Week. This week we're dealing with uh, dynamical systems on a line. So usually we look at um, things in two dimensions, uh, the x-axis being x and y-axis being f of x. Um, in this case, uh, same thing applies except f of x is the rate of change with respect to time of our x, of our position. So what this means is that at a point on our x-axis where f of x equals 0, um, x is not changing with respect to time. However, As long as, um, so this is a, a little section of a function, so a, a little section of a movement of a particle. Um, as long as this isn't zero, so as long as if we look at a neighborhood around this x, the um, f of x isn't also zero in that interval, then um, small perturbations uh, from this point will either grow or decay. So what that means is so uh, this means that uh, for example here if we move a little bit in the x direction positive wise um, we can see that uh, the rate of change with respect to time of x is going to continue to increase and uh, this will become an unstable fixed point even though at that point uh, there there's nothing happening but uh, points away from that point uh, small disturbances will um, grow exponentially and here we can see another example where the converse is true, that um, if we move to this direction a little bit, um, the rate of change with respect to time of x is decreasing. So we're just going to go back along this line and end up at that point again. So we're looking for, so this is kind of a graphical uh, and descriptive explanation of when a fixed point is stable or unstable so far, but we want a kind of quantitative, uh, we want a quantitative statement that we can say when a fixed point is stable versus when a fixed point is unstable. So moving on, we're looking at when f of x star is equal to zero, that's gonna be our fixed point. And so we also need some kind of function that will help us look at and quantify when um, our function, our point is nudged slightly to the left or right. So we'll call this P of T for perturbation. Um, and that just takes um, uh, however small your T is a, a distance away from your uh, fixed point. And so of course we want to take the derivative of this to see if um, a perturbation will grow or decay. So since our fixed point is obviously a constant, it's just a uh, location on our uh, x-axis, the derivative with respect to time of this is just going to be the same as x prime. And this equation here also gives us um, the fact that f of x is equal to f of x star plus our perturbation function. Since x, uh, here it's kind of understood that x is changing with time in our dynamical system. So um, we want to look at the rate of change of, of f of x as well. Oh, no, sorry, we don't want to do that. We want to, uh, we want to find a fairly good approximation for f of x. So um, we're going to use a Taylor expansion to do that. So 
So we stop at the order of p squared because when f prime of x is non-zero, that's uh, good enough for us. And um, so what can we say about this? So um, what we have now is our, uh, the rate of change of our perturbation is equal to uh, this function here. So we have our perturbation times the derivative of our f of um, the derivative at our critical point. And 